Hey, John here. Today we're going to be going over the setup of my, you know, my development environment. The organized app a little bit and to help with royalty payments and other overall arrangements. I'm going to go ahead and create a project on Make It Redux. Bit of disclaimer, that's also one of the companies I'm involved with. Uh, it's a software app. We'll call this... Okay, right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and make this uh, app public. I'm going to do something a little bit different. This is a new experimental license. I guess you can call it experimental because like, we wrote it already. Uh, make your Redux 5 limited 5-year five license. And here we're going to go into GitHub and go ahead and create a repository for this. Repository created. Let's go back to make a Redux and I'll go ahead and put that in the project. Let's make a copy of the repo on my local disk. So, copy that. Git clone. All looks good. Let's go ahead and put in my license. All right, and let's start installing software. As a general rule of thumb, I always do things in virtual environments. And it prevents conflict between different projects and that kind of stuff. I'm not going to explain that fully here, but there's lots of uh, just look up virtual environment on for Python on the web. Okay, let's install some apps. First we'll install Cython, which is needed by Kivi. And pip install Kivi. I want to use Easy AI. Let me look that up. There we go, and now let's uh, make a requirements file in case I have to re ever recreate this. Um, so pip freeze. We'll make our main program. Okay, I'm creating two screens. Uh, we got a settings screen and we got a regular game screen. That's really about it. Uh, Kibi already puts a splash screen up, so I'm ad not adding another one. Uh, you can change the icon or the graphic that shows in the splash screen. I wouldn't modify that to uh, represent the app. Uh, but the, uh, the rest, this should be just a two screen app. I'm going to be using a .kv file to fill out most of the screen and all the images and all that kind of stuff. So uh, right now there's not much to see in the classes. I'll be adding more as time goes along, of course. And here I am loading that very file. Call app, and of course we need it to run, which is one of the methods inherited from app. Um, let's go ahead and build our KV file next. Uh, 
All right, we got our Moncala screen management. Uh, and right now we got two screens. And there's literally, I understand, there's nothing in there yet. <laughs> See if that works. I gotta put that file in, don't I though? Um, make a directory called assets. Okay, let's try this out. Python main.py capitalization. Yep. Oh, I best in port pie game. <laughs> okay. See what happens. No, oh, I think I need to put a framework in my KV file. I like Kivi, but it's not instantly obvious until you've, you know, how things are laid out and arranged until you've done it for a while. Um, look at that! <laughs> Got my app to pop up. It doesn't do anything because I don't have any buttons or anything like that. But I have basic proof of concept. I can run an app and I've got all the thing installed. Having done all that, let's save our work in the repository. There it is. The next video we'll be making a framework so I can get the consistent size and resolution that I want out of every device regardless of, of its native size and resolution. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like what you see. Thanks.